Hey, how's it going? My name is Douglas James, and I just want to thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video that we made for you. Um, I'm making this video on behalf of our company, Amp Local, and my partner, Carrie Cranford. We're really excited to show you what we got here planned for you in this video presentation. So what I'm going to be essentially doing is I'm going to be showing you exactly where you guys are online, how much business is your website's bringing you versus your top competitors, show you exactly the, the exact process that we're going to go through to bring you guys more business through your websites. Um, we're going to look at your pay-per-click campaign with Google AdWords, your Google positionings, um, and really give you a behind look on everything that it takes uh, to really grow your business and get more targeted uh, customers uh, when someone's looking for uh, ink cartridges for their printers. Um, so just sit back and relax and I'm going to go ahead and get started with this video. So as you can see we're on our company's page, uh, Amp Local, we're an internet marketing agency. Um, so please visit us here for more information. So um, I'm going to essentially going to be talking to you about the Google search engine and SEO, search engine optimization, why it's important. Um, as you may already know, you know, over 80% of the population, when they need a product or service, they're going to use the Google search engine to find it. And they're going to be searching simple keywords, uh, like for you guys would just be, you know, ink cartridges or the actual model of the ink cartridge. Okay. The, the printer, HP, uh, you know, inkjet with the model number. Um, or they could just, be, like I said, simply be searching ink cartridges, printer cartridges, the list goes on. And I'm going to show you all the keywords. Um, so over 80% of people are going to use the Google search engine and 96% are going to click from the very first page of Google. All right. And the top three positions control 70% of the total clicks on that one search. All right. So in the United States right now, um, printer, the word printer ink and ink cartridges and all these relevant keywords that people are using in the United States uh, for, for this one gets searched around 500 to 600,000 times per month. Okay, so huge, huge uh, uh, clientele there. And as you can see, Google gives us all of the exact keywords in here in our Google Keyword Planner. So we can see all the keywords that we need to target for your business. Same with HP Inc., which I'm sure you know, is your biggest competitor that you're going after. So uh, again, HP Inc., you know, and all those relative keywords around 600 up to even 800,000 times per month. So anywhere between 1 million to 2 million potential customers, um, you could be reaching per month and more. All right. And again, you know, Google gives us all of the most relevant uh, keywords to rank your business for. So there's no question on, you know, what we should be ranking for. Um, so I went ahead and did a little, uh, I did a lot of research on you guys' businesses. Um, you, essentially, you guys make, you know, discount uh, ink cartridges that match uh, different uh, printers, you know, from HP, Espeon, Canon, and so on and so forth. Um, so I was able to go into your different sites, analyze all of your optimization, look at all of your different pages that you have indexed in the Google uh, to give you guys a really good look at what's going on and really point out a lot of errors um, with the site. And actually, there's so much more business that you guys could be bringing in if these errors were uh, fixed. So that's what I'm going to be talking to you about. Um, <clears throat> so LD uh, products, I know it's kind of like your umbrella main corporation, you know, and you have other sites underneath that, you know, you have ldproducts.com, you have 4 inkjets, inkcartridges.com, 123inkjets.com, and then Simply Ink, which is, um, you know, one of the smaller uh, sites that you guys own. So all these sites have produced uh, literally over 30,000 indexed pages, um, and we came up with over 9 million words of content that needs to be optimized, okay? So there's a lot, a lot of... Uh, uh, business that you have guys invested in online for your business. So um, and we went through everything and uh, came up, found all the errors and came up with a solution for you guys. So um, so I want to show you real quick some of the major, major keywords. You know, printer ink and ink cartridges 
um, is pretty much going to be the major keywords. And as you know, you know, when someone has a specific printer, they're going to search their printer model and they're going to want to purchase, you know, a, a replacement cartridge from the printer model on the Google search. So those, again, as you already know, those are the types of um, keywords that you want to be raking for. So for this one, for printer ink, and again, you know, to know your true ranking, you always want to open what's called an incognito window. So if you're using Google Chrome, um, you're going to see this little guy at the top. Um, this is going to erase your cache memory. Um, so it's going to give you your true ranking. So for printer ink, we found you guys LD products ranked right here. Um, actually, number eight. Okay. So you rank number eight right here on this keyword search. All right. We did HP Inc. And this is per site. So I'm going through LD products, each one of your sites, and showing you the highest position that you guys have. So for HP Inc., we found you guys actually right here for inkjets, rank number 10 at the bottom of page one. Okay. And then for ink cartridges, all right, we found you guys. Let's see, it was right here for ink cartridges number four. Okay, not a bad position. All right. And then for, oh, let's go back here. Okay. And then for printer ink, we found the fourth site. This is actually page two. Okay, page two. And you're actually at ranked right here. So that's 11, 12, 13, because page one has 10 positions. So you rank 13 on page two for that one. All right, and then simp the other website, the fifth one, it's called Simply Ink. We couldn't find that one at all. It's not indexed very well at all. So you have four websites on page one for a lot of keywords. All right, so I want to show you this quick chart. So your highest position that you have right now is number four. Okay, for these common keyword searches. Um, as I told you, you know, the top three control around 70%. When you rank number one, you control about 35% of all the clicks. So right now, um, between all of your sites, you guys are controlling around 8% to about 1% of the market total. So only up to about 8% of the total market online you guys are actually in control of across all of your sites and across all the keyword terms. All right, so we went ahead and actually did some... Um, a bunch of, uh, almost all of them actually, all of your actual printer cartridges. Um, and just to show you a couple of examples, you know, the HP Office Jet Pro 8600 Inc. Um, we found you guys actually ranked right here um, for ldproducts.com. So that's number one, two, three, four, five, six. So you rank number six. So again, you're still around four to five percent, even just for the one printer cartridge. And this is at your best um, that we found. And then even for this ink cartridge um, for HP Offset uh, Pro 8610, uh, we found you number four here. Okay, so again, that's putting you around the eight percent mark, like we like we said. Um, and for a lot less uh, search term, this one's on the lower end. You're not not many as many people are searching this one as the other ones. But discount ink cartridges um, actually found you number two here. So um, not as common searched, um, but still that one's around uh, you know between around eight eighteen percent for this one search, but just for the one website that you guys have. And that's the only site that's up there. Um, and again, that's not getting searched that much. So as you can see, there's a ton of potential to move you guys up in these positions to control the market because this is where you want to be. You want to be controlling anywhere between 20 to 35% of the total clicks on the page. Why not? You know, why have your uh, customers go to your competitors? Okay, you guys want to be the dominating factor, especially in the aftermarket uh, ink cartridge business. So we want to get you there. And I'm going to show you how we're going to get you there. So um, I'm going to show you, the next thing I'm going to show you is how much business your websites are bringing you versus your competitors. So for the first one, ldproducts.com, you guys are getting around 52,000 unique visitors per month, per month okay? Uh, for, ink, for four inkjets, around 32,000 per month, okay? 
and we're going to add these up at the end. Um, and for ink cartridges.com, around 3,000. One, two, three inks, around 9.2 thousand. Okay. So that's a lot of people. These are people that are actually searching, you know, uh, ink cartridge or printer ink or searching their printer model and finding you guys versus the competitor. Um, and then again, and, and again, the Simply Ink um, only gets around 530 visitors per month. So substantially less than the others. All right. So let me show you um, your top three competitors. Okay. HP. And this is all for, from printer, you know, around almost 5 million per month. HP.com. Uh, OfficeDepot.com, 6.3 million per month. Okay. And then Staples.com, 8 million per month. All right, and they've really grown over the past couple of years. So that's your competitors, and that's the type of business that we're going after. So what I'm going to be able to do again in this video is actually show you how they're doing it, and I'm going to show you how we can do that for you, so you guys have that amount of business and have that amount of customers coming to you. All right. Um, so real quick, I made this little chart to give you guys an idea of where you're at versus your top three competitors. So we went over the Google organics, right? So um, just real quick, you know, this is your Google ads. You guys are running the Google AdWord campaign that we'll talk about here in a second. This is your maps for local, but the organics is where 70% of the clicks are going to come from in the top three. And that's what we're going to be showing you, these Google organics. Okay. So for these five sites that you guys own, Every month, you get your you guys are getting around ninety six thousand um, unique visitors a month just from your organic rankings, okay. And your top three competitors are pushing twenty million, okay. So literally, you know, twenty uh, two hundred times more business, okay. So it's a huge difference. It's a, it's a very huge difference, and it's totally doable. You guys are at the bottom of the page, middle to bottom of the page for many many of the keywords. Okay, so you're very, very close, very, very close. So the next thing I want to show you is we, we talked about your organic rankings. Now we're going to talk about your paid advertisement real quick before I move into uh, the process to show you how to rank you. Um, so for that, you guys are putting in around, for LD products, around, uh, you guys are getting around 40,000 clicks a month, all right, um, for four ink you're getting around 50,000 clicks a month. And for ink cartridges, you're getting around 40,000. And then one, two, three, looks like you guys aren't doing paid, paid advertisement for that site at the moment, so zero. And then Sipling Inc. is getting around 1.3 thousand, okay? And now here's your top competitors, HP, 240,000. And again, you know, it looks at the, we can look at the budget too. So I have all the budget numbers for uh, exactly how much you guys are investing in um, Office Depot 600,000 and they're investing 735,000 and then uh, Staples 724,000 clicks um, and they're investing over a million dollars a month in paid advertisement so again the recap you guys around 60k so I have all the data here you know is pretty much what I'm saying is and I put together this chart all right so for these five sites, you guys are getting you you guys are paying for around 131,000 visitors per month, and the HP and your top competitors are getting around 1.3 million visitors from their paid advertisement. Um, after doing the math, it looks like you guys are putting in around 200,000 a month into paid advertisement, and the competitors are putting around 2.6 million a month. So that is a very large uh, AdWord budget that you guys are matching. Um, putting in and that's awesome but I want to show you if you guys had put in that amount of cash or a portion of that into SEO and getting the sites ranked you guys would have would be dominating in uh, organic searches all this 100,000 this budget can be used you know to get you in the organic rankings where most people are going to click from because only only 20 percent of people actually click from the ads all right, that's huge to know, right? Only 20% of your customers are going to click from the ads. The other 70% to, to 80% are actually going to come from the organics, all right, down here. And the top three controls most, almost all of those. So that's where you want to be, all right? Paid advertisement, it's good to have an ad up here, but then this is where most people are going to click from. This is like 
you trying to sell people something. This is people clicking to come to your business to buy something because they're going on their own will. All right, that's the difference. You know, people don't really want to be sold, but you will get 20%, 15 to 20% of people going to your ad. All right, so that's a quick summary of where you guys are at as far as your Google organic visitors per month versus your top competitor and then your paid advertisement versus your top competitor. So all of this is coming from our tools, our SEO tools that we're using for SpyFu and SEM Rush. Very accurate. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the process. I'm going to go into SEO um, and show you guys the exact process. So um, and just real quick, this is some trends we did on, you know, printer ink, printer cartridge, ink P, uh, HP ink. This is a uh, Google Trends, so it shows you that you know HP ink is probably a lot higher uh, search term than versus the other three. All right, so a lot more people in the country are on board with HP that's your top competitor. So this is just some information we're getting back. Um, to kind of like narrow down your SEO and, and then just to give you some feedback on where you guys stand versus your top competitor. So you want to be on top of those. Um, the point to this is you really want to be on top of the model number for your HP printers. Okay. So I'm going to talk to you about SEO now. All right. So let's go back to, to SEO. So as I mentioned, you know, 80, over 80% 80 of people are going to use the Google search engine. 96 are going to click from page one. Um, and then some things that we really need to focus on is um, Google's algorithm, okay? The algorithm actually has 200 determining factors, but I'm only going to talk to you about a couple of the most important ones. Since you guys have such an incredible build online, um, we're going to be able to focus on your link building, and I'm going to talk about that here in a second. So your local citation um, profile is pretty much listing your company and your business online, right? Um, this is how you're going to get your name out there, get your websites registered, um, get you listed in different um, areas and directories across the internet for people to find you. And Google takes this really serious. It wants to know are you, how, where are you listed at um, and are people mentioning you on, on their directories, all right? So some examples of these are obviously Google, Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and white pages and Yelp. All right, when you do them, the business name, address, phone number have to be identical because if not, Google's not going to take you serious and they're going to flag you. Um, and I guarantee you this is one of the major reasons why you guys are kind of like in the middle to bottom of page one for most of your keyword searches. So right, for LD products, the main site has an 83% error rate. Okay, so only... your only 17% of it's corrected. So you're missing Yahoo, you're missing all these listings, um, City Search, you have four inks listed instead of LD products. All right. Um, just the major discrepancy is the name and the, the missing listings. Okay. This is the top 50 in the country. You want to be in these 100%. All right. You want to give Google every possibility to know that you are listed, that you are a serious business, and that you deserve higher positions on Google to sell your services, all right? So 83% error rate is a very high error rate. Um, so we definitely want to get you listed in all these, and we actually want to get you listed in about 1,000 per website because there's hundreds and thousands of these directories online, and we want to target and find the exact ones that are the most relevant for you guys. Not only these top 50, these top 50 are, are a good start, but we want to really show Google that you guys are serious and uh, and more important pretty much than HP and, and uh, Office Depot and, and your competitors. So this is going to be a great way to get listed on the Internet and show Google that your business name, address, and phone number are out there thousands of times. Um, so this is huge right there. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is authoritative content. So, you know, once we get all these listings uh, figured out for you, your websites, they really need to have, you know, keyword research. So all of these keywords that we have found that's, you know, Google is showing you, showing us that people are searching as long as well as the printer models as well. Um, we want to mention all of these on the website and you want to have at least, you know, for you're going national. So the home pages 
of these websites need to have at least 5,000 words on each home page for every single one. So this, your LD products, um, it really doesn't have too much content. It just has a lot of your, a lot of your, you know, links to your different uh, printer models to go to get, get your cartridges to, for people to buy your products. You know, and that's pretty much the case for all your other websites. There's not much content at all. So Google can't really read through too much material. Um, what's really helping you out is that you do have so many pages and influence built up online. Um, but to take it to the next level and to get you guys in the top three of Google for every single keyword search that we're going to target for you, we need to put more content on the, on the pages. So this is very important. Um, and then, like I mentioned, you know, when I look at like this site, we go to HP and then it has all of these index pages the, each one of these models need to be optimized. Every single page needs to have content and links pointed to it. All right. We counted up over 30,000 index pages. Okay. All of these models, all of these pages need to have at least 500 words if they're going to be indexed into Google and for you guys to rank and pull the business that your competitors are pulling. All right. So authoritative content's huge. Let me show you, kind of give you an example. Um, I'll go over to Google, type in elephant. Okay. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one on these kind of searches. It's because of their authoritative content. So when you look at this page, this one pager, Look at all the content on this page. There's probably over 20,000 words on the evolution of elephants, what they eat, where they come from, everything. All right, this is what I mean by authoritative content. You want to have large chunks of information. So every single one of your websites, all five of them need to have like content built out kind of like this, at least something like that on the home page with all the keywords to rank your business in. And then each one of your indexed pages need to have at least around 300 to 500 words with keyword research. So that printer model number um, and those specific keyword searches that I keep mentioning, okay, from, uh, from Google. All right, so that's what I mean by authoritative content. That's huge. If you're going to rank for keywords and uh, be across more searches for more products, you need to have it mentioned on the sites, all right, because the next thing I'm about to show you is and when I talk, start talking to you about backlink influence, that's where it's really going to matter. Okay. Um, so real quick, the next thing I'm going to talk to you about is your actual sites, mobile friendliness. Um, 80% of your customers are going to be looking at your business from a mobile device. So your phone has to be responsive because if not, you, you're going to lose them right away. Um, you're going to lose a customer. You literally have like 1.3 seconds to convert a customer and take action on your site before you lose them. So when they go to your site and it's not mobile friendly, you know, the text is too small to read. Um, everything's too small. It doesn't convert on the, on the uh, phone or whatever device they're using. They're going to leave the page. So for your main site, for ldproducts.com, it's actually not mobile friendly. And here's the reasons that Google gives us, okay? So this is, this is incredibly huge right here. Um, you guys are definitely losing a lot of business for sure because people are bouncing off your site. Now, I did put it in perspective to you. You know, you guys are getting around 51 visitors per month, but how many of those people are actually going into customers? I guarantee you that a lot of them are leaving. Um, you know, but again, you guys are killing it. You guys are a huge corporation. You're getting a lot of business, but I know that this number can grow substantially over a million than 100,000. You could easily have at least over a million. We could 10 exit by fixing these error errors that I'm showing you right now. And the mobile friendliness, um, you know, people are bouncing off your site quite rapidly because of that. So that a whole redesign is going to be necessary to get you ranked up, especially for this one website, the main website that you guys own. Um, because actually Google released a update earlier this year uh, where it really penalized, you know, uh, non-mobile friendly websites. So to further, to keep that from further happening, we have to redesign this site. Um, the next site, you know, for Ink Jets, that one is mobile friendly. So I won't put too much time on that. Ink, inkcartridge.com, this one is mobile friendly. Uh, 123 Ink Jets is mobile friendly. Um, but simply Ink 
uh, is not mobile friendly. So this one will also, for the same reasons that I demonstrated for LD products, this one will also need a mobile friendly web design if it's going to um, be a significant uh, site for Google to search, uh, to show in searches, you know, for the next five, 10 years, you know, even 20 years to come to stay relevant. All right, so very huge. So we talked about your local citations, right, with the 83% error rate so far. Um, we talked about your authoritative content, right, how important that is with the keyword research, okay. And then we talked about your mobile friendliness of, of each site, okay. So that's three things, and I'm going to talk to you about one more fourth and final thing that Google really takes serious, and, and, and it's part of the Google's algorithm, okay. And that is influence pages. Okay, so let me get to my screen here. All right, so this is this is the most important thing that we you'll need to do. This is the stuff that gets people rank organically. Okay, um, the companies that you see, you know, at the top, number one, Office Depot and Staples and and HP. This is the most important thing that is going on behind the scenes that you don't really notice or know about because it's happening and, and you don't know it, all right? And the companies that have invested into this know what needs to happen online for them to get those high positions to, you know, quadruple and 10x and 20x their business. And it's these influence pages, okay? <clears throat> we also call them backlinks, all right? Um, SEO is really all about what you say about your business online and what everybody else says about your business online. All right, um, you know, do you have Bill Gates or Warren Buffett mentioning you online, or do you have just you know an average blue collar worker mention about mentioning you? Okay, the difference is quality and high authoritative. Um, so Google wants to know, you know, how many Warren Buffett sites, not necessarily Warren Buffett board, you know, high end sites that are mentioning you online, like co maybe college websites too, right? Dot edu or dot government websites. Those are the types of links that you want or are links to your site. So um, say you have maybe you have a customer that's thoroughly impressed with your service, you know, your products. Maybe they have a website, write an article, do a blog or something. Um, they're going to mention you online and that's going to show Google that you have a link to your site. You know, they're going to put a, a link to your website. You know, whoever's reading the article can click the link and go to your site. And that's going to, you know, bring give you some power depending on how high quality that that link is right um, so let me show you where you guys are at right now with your websites um, so for LD products right now you have around 785 pretty much 785 people mentioning you online right now or websites okay and Google wants to know again the quality the trust flow okay the trust flow is the quality that I keep mentioning and this number goes from 0 to 100 and right now you guys are at a 30 for your main website, okay, for ldproducts.com. So before I show you the other sites, I'm going to show you what's significant about that number, okay. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, right now you guys are kind of like in the high-end realm. You know, you guys are ranking, you know, on, at the bottom of page one, middle of page one for against some pretty, you know, authoritative um high keyword mentions like you know printer ink cartridge um, so you guys are up there you know right beh behind your competitors um, a little further back in some cases um, so the quad you guys have built an incredible quality online so this chart kind of shows you kind of like the average so anything around below five is low anything around 15 is medium anything above 20 is high but for what you guys are trying to do and this is your trust flow meter right but what you guys are going to do, trying to do online, you need links that are 60 and 70 plus, okay? Because your competitors, I'm going to show you your competitors and how powerful their site is, you're going to need more links and more more powerful links. So for LD products, you're around 30. Um, for four ink jets, it's around, actually around 48, a little bit higher. Um, for ink cartridges, has a trust flow of 29. And again, the number of links is very important. So you have a thousand people mentioning you here, uh, almost 500 mentioning you. you have a trust flow of 29, a thousand people mentioned here, but the trust flow is actually 19. So this site for one, two, three Inc is actually 
below the high standard level. Okay, so that's something to really look at. And then simply Inc. 100 people mentioned you know, online, but and then that's just a three is really low, actually meaning low quality. Okay, so you really have two more more higher authoritative sites. Okay, but let me show you your competitors. Okay, here's HP just blowing it out of the water. Okay, 280,000 referring domains and the trust flow is 87. Okay, so that's incredibly huge. Um, Office Depot, 23,000, trust flow is 66. Um, Staples.com, 33,000, trust flow is 72. So again, all these sites are literally from almost double, in some cases triple, your website. So your competitors have incredible power online. Um, and this is going to be, the like I said, the number one key factor. After we get your citations figure, um, filled out 100%, after we get your authoritative content built out on all 30,000 of your pages, go through all your nearly 10 million words of content <clears throat> and get that optimized correctly. Um, and then uh, build out, make sure all your sites are mobile friendly so 80% of your customers can actually look and order your products online and browse your site instead of clicking off their site, off your site when they visit it. This is gonna be the big thing that we're gonna be doing for you ongoing <clears throat> to get in you more links, more power, more business, more sales for LD products and across the other sites that you guys have. So as you can see, the competition is steep, but it's completely doable. And I'm going to go into how we're going to get these links for you. So we actually have, you know, a power base of over 500 influence pages um, that are interlinked to tens and hundreds of thousands other links. Um, so our, our, power base for influential domains is incredibly huge and we don't want to point you know say a thousand two thousand even twenty thousand links to your site at one time because that's going to google's going to think something sketchy is going on so we want to add a healthy backlink uh profile to you and have it set out over a period of time okay say you know uh, one, you know, five to 10 per month. Okay. In some cases we could actually push that up over a hundred, but we're going to be pointing, you know, to every 30,000 over the 30,000 pages you have, we're going to be pointing links, but what we're going to do for you, which is something that many SEOs and a lot of companies out there that do internet marketing and SEO don't know about is we're going to go out to high end colleges like Harvard university, Yale, all right, Duke, Notre Dame, some of these really big colleges in the country, these websites are incredibly powerful sites. And if you have them mentioning you online, Google is going to look at you in a completely different light versus your competitors. Okay. Let me show you the power of their sites and show you how we get the links. So Harvard. 77 trust flow, okay, 26,000 mentions, over 1.2 million um, backlinks, okay. Yale, 76 trust flow, around the same, all right. Duke, 78 trust flow, all right. And here is Notre Dame, again, 76 trust flow. So very, very high end, very powerful websites, all right. So what we do, this is very unique, okay? And this is gonna bring so much value to your company, um, not just in bringing you more business, but actually giving back to the community. So what we do is we're gonna contact, our team is gonna contact every single college in the entire country, all of these high authoritative colleges like Harvard, Yale, Duke, LSU, um, San Diego State, um, you know, all of these colleges. Uh, Notre Dame and we're gonna say hey we want to give a $1,000 scholarship per semester for a student that writes a 500 word essay on say uh, you know why is it important or how is you know properly um, disposing of your ink cartridges you know gonna change the world you know um, there's so many different things that we could actually put together for you you know on recycling and uh, things like that to bring 
you know, to put your business in a better light on you trying to actually uh, change the environment and um, strike emotion in those uh, different individuals. So like for one thing that we did um, for solar is, you know, how was solar power, you know, changing the world and why is it a more efficient way, cleaner energy than electricity coal power plants. All right. So that's the type of, that's just an example of the type of uh, essay that the um, student would write about. So you'll get, you know, over a thousand um, per semester, maybe a thousand to 10,000 essays. And what we'll, we'll do is actually get them all, pick five to 10 of the best ones and put them on social media. And whoever gets the most likes and comments wins the scholarship. And we'll be doing this every single semester. So around three times, um, three times a, a, a year, you're, you're going to be getting these links. And whatever colleges will pick it up, we have at least uh, 20 percent usually around 20% of all the colleges that we pick up um, would give us a link. So you're looking at around 500 plus high-end, super high-end links a month from these types of colleges. Um, so that's going to bring you enormous, enormous amount of power from these types of websites. Um, and these trust flows of 30 and 40 and 20 are going to just blow up and skyrocket. So HP and their 87, you know, and, and your competitors, they're going to be looking not as significant to Google when you're having all these high-end uh, mentions online from all these high-end uh, authoritative websites. So, like I said, that's not going to only bring you more business, more sales, more revenue for your company. That's actually going to actually be giving something back to community. Um, and then whenever we actually pick that student um, that we're going to give that scholarship to, um, they're going to mention you on your website. Okay. So if I wasn't clear about that, they're going to write an article on their website, you know, underneath scholarships, um, mention your company, talk about the student, the article and all that great stuff. And there's going to be a nice, beautiful link to your website right there on the site. And that's going to give you that influence link from Harvard or whatever college that picks you up. Like I said, roughly around 20%, uh, usually you can get around at least 500, um, plus per year. Um, so huge, huge. That's how we're going to get it for you. Okay. So, so I want to go ahead and just start wrapping this up for you um, and just kind of show you a summary. So we talked about um, where your business is right now versus your competitors. You guys are getting around 100,000 unique visitors per month and obviously converting a percentage of those. Um, and then your paid advertisement, you guys are putting in around 200,000 a month into paid advertisement. So you're buying around 130 unique visitors versus your top competitor. You can see their numbers there. Okay. So that's a, like I said earlier, that's a very large budget. Um, and we want to invest, you know, a portion of that into the, the long, uh, kind of like down the road future investment. That's actually going to bring you more and more business as for the next decade, decades to come in the company. Um, and that's going to be through search engine optimization. Um, so, so quick summary. Um, you know, you have the five websites, uh, three are mobile friendly and two are not. Like I mentioned, um, the online cit citation profile, you have an 83% error rate that we talked about your, your citations, Yelp, uh, Facebook, and all that good stuff. Um, and then you have over 30,000 indexed pages across all your sites. Um, and then over 9 million words of indexed content that needs to be optimized. So um, a lot of action, a lot, lot of, uh, a lot going on with your business. So plan of action. Okay. We want to redesign, redevelop ldproducts.com and simplyinc.com to be mobile friendly. Okay. Because like I said, over 80% of your uh, customers are going to be looking at those sites from a phone, iPhone, Android. We're going to optimize all the index content to include the keyword research from the Google Keyword Planner. Um, for each of your index pages, we're going to point two to five high authoritative sites from our current client base of, of sites, which actually are in the hundreds of thousands. Um, and we're going to point them at a, at a slow rate to show Google that not too much is happening. And we want to build a a very healthy profile link to get you guys solid positions in Google. Okay. Um, then we're going to launch the university campaign almost immediately after we've corrected everything. 
um, to acquire the high elite level authoritative links from the .edu sites like Harvard, Yale, and uh, LSU. Um, these .edu sites, um, we're going to acquire around 25 to 50 per semester or 75 to uh, 150 per year per site. So you're looking at 500 plus links a year. Um, so at least, uh, you know, we pick up at least 20% of all these colleges that pick up um, these links. And it could be a lot more. If the colleges really like what you're offering even more, we could actually get 50%. You know, why not? You know, so I think that you guys are in an incredible market. Like Solar, we did very well. And, um, you know, so for for this one, for landfills and uh, for recycling, go green. There's a lot of great things. The way the world is shifting, um, we could really target a really great campaign to have a colleges to really look at it, take a really serious look, and accept that scholarship uh, for you to give out to um, the the students that sign up. And then we're going to obviously do a detailed monthly report on everything that we do. All right. Um, so the actual value of what we're doing for you guys across all the fights uh, all the sites um, two mobile redesigns okay that's around 45 grand actual value with all the index pages and the content and everything um, across all your sites the content optimization over 9 million words it's around 43 cents per word it's actually going to be around 3.9 million bucks to actually go out and get this stuff done all right um, 5,000 online citations we want to have at least 1,000 per site and correct your back your uh, profile uh, the what it is right now that usually costs around 25 grand okay across all your sites um, next 90,000 authoritative 30 plus trustful links this is from our current uh, client base of influence links that we have right now uh, something like that over a year would actually cost 9 million hard costs to do um, and we already have the processes and the systems in place for you and of course, um, getting the 500 university links, the .edu links at 70 plus trust flow, which are going to be over your competitors, that's going to be around two million for the whole year. That's actual hard cost value for what we that high end service that we're going to be giving you. So the total value for work per year is going to be nearly 15 million dollars. Okay, um, so this is a I'm not going to charge. We're not going to charge you 15 million. But I'm just saying this is your hard investment for the next decades to come for your business. This is going to give you organic authority over your clients versus having to pay for that type of uh, business. Okay. So what is it actually going to cost? So the investment here is going to be $125 per month. And you're looking at a $1.5 million investment by the end of the year. All right. So... It's actually going to it's going to be a lot less than the actual value across because we have the systems in place um, and we're just going to go to work and lock elbows with your company and make it happen and grow and explode your business. So that's going to be your investment. Um, and I really hope that makes sense for you because we are serious and you take it serious because we are very serious about locking elbows with you guys and growing your business. So whenever we look at you know your current rankings and positions and the amount of business that you guys are bringing in versus your competitor I mean the numbers just make sense you know only 20 percent of your customers are clicking from the ad 70 the other 70 80 percent are clicking from the organics and this is how much business you're bringing in organics and that's actually down the road that's what your consumers want to click from and that's what Google wants to show to the consumer is who is on the top of the organics that's where all the business the the, bus, the businesses that are in the top three are the ones that are blowing up and dominating the market okay and right now you guys are not dominating the market your competitors are and we want to get you there so that pretty much wraps up everything i wanted to show you guys um i really appreciate the time you took to watch this and i really hope it makes sense for you and your company so you have our contact information. I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Um, like I said, we are very serious about doing business with you guys. I'm very serious about bringing you the incredible value 
um, that you guys truly deserve in your business. You know, um, this is something that, you know, your competitors are doing and, you know, we want to do it with you and do it for you. Uh, so you guys dominate, um, you know, cause why not? Why would you want to go in business and, and not be everything you could be? Right. So again, I appreciate the time you took to watch this and please reach out and we will be in touch. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Have a nice day.